Do you feel like you're starting to get the hang of this being a senator thing? Uh, I don't know. You know, I, uh, to say that I'm getting the hang of it, I'm understanding it better. I really like my colleagues. And, you know, some you're closer to than others, but I really like all of them, I, and I see the good in all of them, no matter how far right, how far left. Or <laughs> There's so few in the middle anymore, it tells you we need to better, do a better recruiting job. You don't run your life, you don't run your household, and you don't run your business from the right or the left. The extremes, under any conditions, do not, do not basically have a uh, positive result. No matter who the president, whether it's a Democrat or Republican, my responsibility is do all I can to make that the best it can be and make our country look good. So I don't have a partisan bone in my body when it comes, can I be of help? But when I say things and I might not follow the line because I can't sell it back home, I would hope that people would respect that also. I, I adhere to the West Virginia line. The worst can happen to me, I figured it out. In the political process in America, the worst can happen is you don't get reelected. That's not, uh, that's not a hard decision or too much of a consolation to pay to do the right thing. Doesn't mean you're right just because you happen to be a Democrat or if a Republican happens to be a Republican thinking they're, you know, it should be what's good for America. I have never been against something unless I thought I had a better idea or I could have input. I might be the only person in my party voting a certain way. And I've done that quite a few times. I've had people come to me and say, boy, I wish I could vote like you. And I'm thinking, you know, he takes that or that.